Civilization or Barbarism in Authentic Anthropology by Dr. Sheikh Antija. Definition One can say that a people has left prehistory behind from the moment that it becomes conscious of the importance of the historical event to the point where it events a technique or or written for its memorization and accumulation. Linguistic factor. Let us move to the linguistic factor as a constituent element of cultural personality and co consequently of cultural identity. It would be difficult to say between the historical and the linguistic factors which of the two is the most important from our angle of interest. Monte Montesquieu would very probably lean toward the linguistic factor. He who wrote that as long as a conquered people has not lost its language, it can have hope, hereby stressing that language is the unique com uh, common denominator, the characteristic of cultural identity par excellence. But what does African linguistic unity mean? Africa is a tower of a Babel, of Babel it will be said, not more so than Europe, which also has more than 360 languages and dialects. The apparent linguistic unity does not exist on any continent. Languages follow the migratory currents, the particular destinies of peoples, and fragmentation is the rule until an um, official effort, a political will, tries to expand a mode of expression to the detriment of others. Thus the speech of the El de France, that of the kings of France, was privileged in relation to the other dialects, Picard, Provencal, Breton, etc. However, Everyone knows today, thanks to linguistic research, that this superficial heterogeneity in Europe hides a kinship, a profound linguistic unity that becomes more and more obvious as one goes back to the Indo-European language, which is the mother tongue, the ancestors from which all the present and past branches derive following a very complex evolution. If we speak today of a European linguistic unity, it is only at this profound level released and restored to science by linguistic archaeology. Otherwise, the French, the English, the Germans, the Italians, the R Romanians, the Lithuanians, the Russians, etc., do not understand each other any more than the Wolof, the Bambara, the Hausa, etc. do. But African linguistic research of the past few years has helped reach a level at which the kinship, the African linguistic unity, unity in a genetic sense, is as obvious as that of the great Indo-European linguistic family. And we see the avenues that are open to an affirmation and a strengthening of the African cultural identity. Similarly, it is linguistic research, and only that, which very recently allowed the 20th century Europeans to experience the feeling of their linguistic unity. Before the research on comparative grammar of the German Franz Bach in the 19th century, no feeling of a European linguistic unity existed. Africa has had a delay of only a little more than a century compared to Europe. And we'll pause right there. Can you continue back with civilization or barbarism? I'm your real rider. Hi, sir.